Hello, good morning. Um, welcome back to the second portion of this sketchbook look. Um, I'm outside, there is some construction noises, but he's hoping everything goes okay. So, the last time I showed you things, I believe we were here. Um, there isn't really that much to go. I thought I'd finish what I started. Oh, that's all good because I haven't finished this. <laughs> uh, a bunch of random flowers, watercolour. Uh, this was a photo that I took and then drew when, well, after we visited the Royal Tasmanian Botanical Gardens. Um, they were big, beautiful, fluffy bumblebees, and it was a really beautiful day. Uh, this is me testing out one of my new pens. Oh, this is like a double spread. Let's zoom out on this. Ooh. Um, so I tried to do like a cherry or something. I don't really know which way it's... That one goes that way, obviously, but that one looks like it goes that way. Uh, yep. Another double spread. Um... So I am a big Miley Cyrus fan, and these are some of her lyrics <laughs> um, that inspired these little drawings. So I've heard I've got words that cut like a knife, that I don't always choose just so wisely. But I see trees and the coloured leaves when I think all the, about when I think about all that we could be. I really like these too. I think they're super cute. This one was fun. This was when I was experimenting with uh, laying down washi tape and then adding some watercolour and some cute cats that are on one of my coffee mugs. And of course just a random plant to fill in the blank. <laughs> um, this is... Um, my mum has some purple dark purple calla lilies, which I really love the leaves of them. There, let's see, is that, is pro, okay, no, let's just go back. <laughs> um, and some words that I don't know where I heard them from, but I thought they went with the picture, I guess. Uh, my partner and I visited Cumbria in England, which is where my dad is from, and we stay with some family, and there's just these really big, beautiful hills, and they're all different colours, and wanted to paint those. Um, this just looks like a bit of an experimental page. <laughs> it's fun going back through and seeing what I had did before. Um, this is simple, a little bit cute, a little rainforesty with some cats. Um, this I wanted to paint like a native sort of bouquet. I really like these purple and green type flowers that I did. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is like shimmer in the blue. I added some glitter into the water paper, but if you can't, oh well, uh, just imagine it. <laughs> uh, what else is there to say? This is a protea, I, I don't know, I think I added a bit too much, but what are you going to do? You can't take it back. <laughs> some rainbow letters I was trying out. I was... Well, there's not much more to say there. Uh, so this would have been around Christmas time two years ago. My mum had given me some acrylic paints. I've never used them before. Um, I think this was based off a photo where the flowers were sort of cascading down this rock. Um, it's clearly not amazing, but whatever. All that doesn't have to be amazing. It's, it's about the journey, you know. Uh, 
this was that same image from before. Hopefully you remember that one. And then I painted it again, but this is in acrylic. Um, it's a bit too dark. But yeah. And there's a bit of texture down here. I added some media. I don't remember what it's called, but it makes it textury. And I think this might be some of the last pieces. Uh, I think this was a Skillshare video that I followed and I really like it. And then I did a watercolour version, so that's acrylic and watercolour. I quite like them. And a sunset to finish us off. Well, thanks for joining. Ciao.